Bulging fontanel in an infant can be a sign of based in bacterial pressure or it can be quite normal for a fontanel that change from class to based on position in the client. So let's see the basic of fontanel, etiology of bulging fontanel, investigation and the management, patient differential diagnosis. Fontanelles are fibrous membrane covered gaps between cranial sutures. A newborn has six fontanelles anterior, posterior, two mastoid, and two sphenoid fontanelles, but only two are clinically apparent anterior and the posterior fontanel. The posterior fontanel usually closes by one to two months of age, and the anterior fontanel usually closes between nine to eighteen months of age. When we evaluate a child with bulging fontanel, First, the position of the child matters. You should palpate the fontanel with the child in upright position. Filling the fontanel with a child supine might cause it to feel full when it is not truly abnormal. Position of the fontanel also matters. The fontanel should normally be slightly sunken relative to the upper table of the skull. The fontanel that is even with the upper level of the skull or above it is abnormal. Pulsations of the fontanel are normal. That's usually a peripheral pulse. Belgian fontanel can be caused by a benign cause, such as supine position. It can also be caused by coughing, vomiting, crying, and recent vaccination have also been associated with Belgian fontanel. But don't forget that this benign cause should be a transient and no other systemic problems should be there. The child should not have systemic problems or signs and symptoms of systemic illness. When we came to pathologic causes of bulging fontanel, we classify them as most common and the less common. The most common are meningitis or meningoencephalitis, spacocopying lesion, such as tumors, intracranial abscess, intracranial hemorrhage, hydrocephalus, and the less common ones include thyroid disorder, hypervitamin A or hypervitaminosis, uh, lead poisoning, leukemia, inborn errors of metabolism, congestive heart failure, cerebral sinus thrombosis. So those are the pathologic causes of bulging fontanel. Bulging fontanel is a medical emergency that requires immediate evaluation by a physician. A physical exam, medical history, and diagnostic tests are used to determine the cause. Medical history include when did the bulging fontanel start or when did the bulging first appear? Are there any other actions or actions that affect the bulging? And on physical exam, check for fontanel location, where on the baby's head the bulging fontanel is. Consistency is the fontanel tense or bulging. Does the fontanel look normal when the baby is calm and upright? And other symptoms such as, does the baby have fever, irritability, and lethargy to address the underlying cause? First, differentiate benign cause of bulging fontanel from the pathologic one clinically. Then, if it is pathologic, do a workup to reach out a diagnosis, underlying problem. You can do complete blood count, electrolytes, you can do also brain imaging, special transfontanel ultrasound to check for bleeding, hemorrhage, hydrocephalus, or intracranial infection. Do lumbar puncture if you suspect meningitis. One big study shows a 36 prevalence of clinically significant abnormal finding on neurosonography in infants with uh, bulging fontanel. So, this big study recommends emergent neuroimaging for infants who met high risk criteria. Those include febrile children younger than two months or non febrile children with abnormal finding on neurologic examination. When we came to management, a bulging fontanel that returns to normal when the baby is calm or sitting up is usually not a cause for concern. However, a bulging fontanel that persists or occurs when the baby isn't crying or lying down would indicate a more serious condition. So we should have to search for the underlying cause and address it. So the treatment for the bulging fontanel depends on the cause. Treat the underlying pathology and the treat its complications. This is all about the bulging fontanel. Thank you for watching.